Hi, this is Monica of Knitted Wishes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to join yarn using a knot. Now, here's my working yarn. Here's the new yarn, and I've indicated it with a little knot at the end. Now, place the new strand of yarn underneath the working yarn, over the working yarn, over the new strand of yarn, underneath the new strand, and through the loop. Now tighten it. Now pick up the working yarn. Place it underneath the new yarn. Over the new yarn. Over the working yarn. And through the loop. And pull. Now grab the working yarn that's attached to your project and the strand of yarn that's attached to your ball of yarn and pull. Now let's try this one more time. Here's your working yarn. Here is the new yarn with a little knot at the end. Put the new yarn under the working yarn, over the working yarn, over the new yarn, underneath the new yarn and pull. Now pick up the working yarn, place it underneath the new yarn, over the new yarn, over the working yarn, and through the loop. Pull. Now pick up the strand that's attached to your work, the strand that's attached to your ball of yarn, and pull. Now you can tighten this. Now the way I remember this is under one, over two, under one, twice. Under one, over two, under one, pull, under one, over two, under one, and pull. Now grab the working yarn that's attached to your project, the yarn that's attached to your ball, and pull. And now you can cut the ends off and you can go as close as you can and here's the other side now pull this knot will not come undone now if you notice that after making the first loop and attaching the new yarn you don't have much of the working yarn left to make the second loop. You can just take this first knot that you made and pull it up like this. And now you have a lot more of the working yarn left to make the second part of the knot. Now I'm going to show you where the knot is. So I've knitted a couple of rows and here is the knot right here. Here you can see a tiny bit of it in the front of the work and here it is in the back. Now I don't use uh, knots very often but there might be situations where you might need to use one so this is probably one of the best ways to join yarn using a knot and um, if you have a lot of texture in your knitting or you're using lace um, the knot will be very invisible, so this might be um, an option for you.